Hi, 10th Delhi Shorts International Film Festival 2021. My name is Mark O'Toole. I am the writer and director of the short documentary Outside In. I'm based here in New York City. I am um, really sorry I can't be there in person this year, but thank you for the opportunity to tell you a little something about my film. What was the inspiration for it? Uh, you know, I've been, um, I'm a runner. I do these, uh, you know, this is one of my hobbies and I've been training all the winter of 2019 and early 2020 for the for the New York City half marathon, you know. So I was up and ready, and and you know I was running 13, 14 miles um, in a shot. So uh, uh, the week before the race uh, in early March around St Patrick's Day, the 17th, New York City shut down as the global pandemic sort of took hold here in, in New York City, and everything ground to a halt. And suddenly, you know, a city of eight, nine million people just almost disappeared overnight. The city just. You know, people fled or locked themselves indoors and, you know, for good reason. There, there was like over a thousand people dying here a day. It was really uh, quite terrifying, actually. And I had watched and seen, you know, in the weeks leading up to that, what had been going on in Italy. You know, not, not really thinking that this is going to be a problem here. You know, people weren't really paying enough attention, I think. And anyway, I, 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 I grabbed a camera. I grabbed my camera. I said, you know, I've been able to run. I can run the entire city. And, and, and capture this, and, and, and that's what I set out to do. What roadblocks did we encounter making the movie? Well, I guess the biggest challenge was, you know, I had access to nobody. We were all in lockdown, so to speak, and so I felt for a little while an army of one. You know, when I set out with this, I had, uh, all I could get was an iPhone. I couldn't go and rent proper cameras. I couldn't do any of that. Um, but I, I bought a gimbal, which is like a sort of a steady cam thing. Um, online that arrived, I was able to then go out and run. And so when I was making the, the running and running through, I was able to hold the camera steady like I'm doing with this, this it's on a gimbal, the, the, the iPhone here. And you know, and that gave me some sort of uh, mobility to be able to film a lot of things. And I filmed hours and hours and hours of just a remarkably um, uh, city that's so used to being bustling and noisy and, and, and full of people to nothing. You know, it really did felt felt like a museum if anybody's ever seen that movie I Am Legend with uh, Will Smith that that really is how it felt to me it was remarkable it was like, eh. you're running through and you're wondering where is everybody you know and I was scared you know but uh, but I had to see it I, had to, I felt I had to get out and document this and, and and I felt compelled to do it in an odd way and all that running and training for the the half marathon um you know gave, gave me gave me the ability to do that um you know, but then just tying all the, the pieces together later on when I realized I had a lot of this great footage, you know, what could I do with it? What, what sort of film do I make? I mean, nobody's gonna watch hours of empty New York, it's very boring, you know, and I thought about how, how do I make this interesting, compelling, but also a personal story, and, and, and really that's what I landed on. Um, you know, a personal story of my own family, my own um, uh, version of what happened for us during the pandemic. And sort of tie that in with the empty city and, and just sort of a message of hope and, and whatnot. And I think, hopefully you think that succeeded and people can, you know, enjoy it and see it for what it is and read into that message of hope and see it as more, you know, see their own stories in that. The challenges around making a film like this, you know, is access to anybody. There was nobody, you couldn't collaborate with anybody in person. and actually working with a team um, that are involved with this. Uh, uh, you know, Wang Peng is, is the poet. Uh, there's, a, there's a scene uh, uh, towards the end of the film that's this beautiful poem about immigration and life and what people bring to their countries and whatnot. <clears throat> and you know, when I had reached out to her online, I found this poem, I thought I was really inspired by it. And I'd reached out to her and she, she very nicely uh, gave me the rights to use the poem. Likewise with uh, our, um, our narrator, Mark Byrne, he's been in a, a bunch of movies and whatnot. An actor I'd worked with previously, we'd reached out and actually we did get to meet, he was the one person I did get to meet in person for a coffee um, outside in the freezing cold, I think it was in, in, in January um, last year or earlier this year and uh, sort of hashed out what I was looking to do and accomplish with the, with the film. And the composer is actually from India. He's uh, living, uh, Sashi, he's living in uh, Chennai. And I found his music online and I thought it was fantastic. I said, wow, I gotta, gotta find this guy. It took me weeks to track him down. And eventually I did and he, he, returned, my, he returned my email and uh, we got talking and it was a wonderful experience working with him. 
Um, I started working with him in, in, in around the beginning of May of this year, and India was in its second wave and, and you know, lockdown over there. And really, you know, listening to him compose the music and the ideas and the scenes he was watching from a year earlier in New York was actually quite inspiring to me. And I think it also inspired the music for the movie because he was in the middle of something that he was making the music for that happened here a year earlier. Um, and it was, uh, yeah, we, we kind of made it work, you know, um, email, Zoom calls, WhatsApp calls to sort of pull the whole thing together. Yeah, here's, um, you know, here's a little clip from the, 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 the film. It's a little bit of a trailer, give her a tease, give you a bit of a teaser. What happened yesterday? We are looking at a new war that no one has seen before. This is a case of first impression for this nation. We have never fought a virus like this with this. So, best wishes to the 10th Delhi International Film Festival. 2021. Uh, I'm sorry I can't be there in person, but I know you're going to have a great festival. Have a good one.